Hey, it's me, Major Baseball League. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. It's just MLB. Those are my actual initials, just to clear up any confusion. I've had people ask if MLB stands for Miraculous Ladybug. Uh, others have told me that it also stands for Major Baseball League, but it's actually my initials. Uh, otherwise, I should probably switch across to doing uh, Miraculous Ladybug one shots and books and maybe do some fan fiction for or fiction oh yeah it is still fan fiction for the major baseball league i don't even know anybody in the major baseball league but anyway moving on here is your wednesday one shot with the sun himself izuku midoriya this is just straight up tooth rotting fluff um just a very simple one shot sorry if you're hoping for some sin with the cinnamon roll but uh all the smut shots with our aged up bean are all on quirky fanfics so go there for the smart stay here for the softy softy so without further ado i give to you a picture perfect confession midoriya x female listener Ugh. why are there so many terrible photos of me you wailed to mina as you stood at the school board looking over the photographs that were all pinned up there Class 1A and Class 1B had just had their class festivals and all the pictures from the day's events had been posted up for all to see. Are you going to get some copies? Mina asked you. I'm going to get that one of you. She pointed to a picture of you eating ice cream. The contents were dripping down your chin. No, why? That one is the absolute worst, you wailed. As you were still looking at the pictures, Kaminari walked up and plucked a copy off the board. Hey, whoa, Dink, what are you doing? You asked with a chuckle grabbing his arm to stop him. It's not for me, he said quickly. I'm scapegoating. Scapegoating was the term used when someone had been elected to go to the board and get pictures for a few people that wished to get photos of their crush or of themselves without being known. By putting a middleman in the mix, they would then remain anonymous. Who are you scapegoating for? Mina asked. Ah, 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 Kaminari tutted. A scapegoat never tells. I am a seasoned professional. No one will be able to get it out of me. I am an impenetrable wall of... It's someone from support studies, isn't it, right? Mina asked. No, Kaminari laughed. It's class 1A. Support studies, he cackled. That was so far off the mark. Oh, Mina leered. Guess it was, huh? Kaminari, still not realising that he'd given some information away, took a few more of the pictures off the board and left, chuckling as he went. So, we know that your admirer is in the same class as us. Mina leered at you once Kaminari had left with your pictures. Stop it, you replied bashfully. It's probably back ago using my face as target practice. Mm, I think somebody likes you, Mina teased. I wonder who it could be. Oh, it's probably no one, you replied dismissively, as if anyone would like me. Your eyes went back to the board and glossed over it, settling on a picture of Midoriya smiling brightly into the camera and you sighed internally. Oh, he's so cute. It would be impossible for me to dream that it would be him wanting the pictures of me. Back in his room, Midoriya wrung his hands together nervously, sitting on the side of his bed. Oh, Kaminari's taking so long to get back, he thought. Just then there was a knock at the door and the poor greenette nearly jumped out of his skin. Y yes he shouted standing straight up and turning mechanically to the door. Hey dude, Kaminari called from the other side of the door. I got the, uh, things. Midoriya cracked the door open and looked around, making sure no one else was there before opening it wider. Thank you so much, Kaminari, he said politely with multiple bows. Thank you, thank you. It's no trouble, Kaminari replied with a grin, handing over the small stack of pictures to him. Taking them with both hands, the delighted ray of sunshine bowed as he backed into his room, then closed the door and ran to the bed to sit down again. Nervously holding the wad of pictures up, he looked through them. The first one on the pile was the ice cream picture, and he smiled adoringly at it. Oh, she's really cute, he thought, moving that picture from the top of the pile and sliding it to the back of the pile so he could see the next one. The next picture of you was during the tug of war game, and the look of determination on your face made him smile. She really puts 100% plus ultra into this, he thought, moving to the next one. In the next picture, you were stretching, and he looked closer and he could see that his leg was in the picture as well. Oh my gosh, I'm in a picture with you, he squealed internally. Just then, his door flew open and in stalked back ago. Oi, damn nerd, you didn't... What's that? The explosive blonde asked, looking at the stack of pictures that Midoriya was trying to hide. Nothing, Kachan. 
The greenette stammered with a blush on his face. Don't try and hide them, idiot. I already saw, Bakugo said, snatching them out of Midoriya's hand. Kachan, Midoriya wailed. Please give them back. Oh, they're all of that extra, Bakugo sneered. Do you have a crush on her, useless Deku? Kachan, please, Midoriya begged. Don't say anything to her. I won't, but you will. You have till tomorrow afternoon to tell her, or I will, Bakugo sneered, throwing the pictures on the bed. No, Kachan, I can't. What if she doesn't like me back? How's that my problem, you damn nerd? Bakugo snapped. Man up and tell her. You're aiming to be the number one hero, aren't you? And you can't even confess to her? Ha! Don't make me laugh. And with that, he stormed out. Oh, he's right, Midoriya thought as he scrunched his brows with concern and looked down at the floor, closing his eyes as he swiped his fingertips together. I need to be stronger. You were still wondering who had wanted the pictures of you as you walked back to the dorms by yourself, the picture of Midoriya that you had seen earlier tucked into your pocket. As you got closer to the building doors, you pulled it out and looked at it, smiling when your eyes fell on it. Oh, he really is perfect. Uh, Yin? Midoriya's voice in front of you made you jump so violently that you almost dropped the picture and you quickly hid it back in your pocket. I wasn't! You squeaked suspiciously. Sorry? He asked with a cute little head tilt. Uh, huh? What? No, I... I didn't... Sorry, what? I didn't say anything, you rambled. Oh, I... Can... Can, can I talk to you, please? The greenette asked shyly, looking down his fingertips as he tapped them together. Uh, yeah, you said, worried that he had seen you holding the picture of him. Walking awkwardly with him to the corner of the foyer area, you nervously waited for him to say his piece. Y Yin? Midoriya started, blushing madly as he scratched the back of his head, then grabbed for a piece of his fringe and tugged on it, while looking left and right and anywhere except for your face. Oh, he saw me with his picture. He totally did. And now he's feeling awkward, you thought, reading his body language wrong. Yin, I, I really... He started. I'm sorry, you apologised. Please, don't be weirded out. You just, you looked really, uh, happy, you said quickly. Uh, I'm sorry? Midoriya asked with confusion. The picture, you said. You know about the pictures? Midoriya asked with dread thinking that you were now talking about the pictures of you that he had in his room. Kachan promised you wouldn't say anything until tomorrow. What? you asked. What, what pictures? Eh? Midoriya asked with a confused head tilt. You both looked at each other for a bit, then you shook your head and blinked. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what, what are we talking about? The pictures of you, Midoriya admitted softly, dropping his gaze again. Pictures of me from the board? Wait, you wanted them? You asked with surprise, your heartbeat suddenly catching wind of what was happening and racing a million miles per hour. Midoriya nodded sadly. I, I really like you, Yin. I'm sorry. I didn't want this to be strange or anything. I just, I really like those pictures. I don't need a reply. I just want you to know that I think you're really pretty. And you just wanted to say something at that point, but the pounding of your heart wasn't allowing any verbal functioning. So you just stared at him, which made him feel even more uncomfortable. I'm sorry, he whispered, taking a step back. I can give them back to you if you'd prefer. N no, keep them. I, I like you too. Look, you flubbed, taking the picture of him from your pocket and shoving it into his face. Oh, he said with surprise as the picture was smoshed to his nose. I like you. I like you a lot. You're really cool and, and cute, you admitted. You like me? He asked, tilting his head to the side so that he could see around the smooshed photo, only his beautiful green eyes showing and curly mop of hair from around the edges of the photo. Yeah, you admitted, your palms going tingly. Do you, do you want to be my girlfriend? He asked with watery eyes. You nodded. Yeah. Oh, he said with an excited look in his eye. A plus ultra. You giggled at first and then chuckled, taking the picture down from his face and grinning at him. Can I hug you? He asked shyly. Of course, you said, grabbing him in a big hug and squeezing him tightly. Oh, so fluffy. And there ends our Midoriya one shot for Wednesday. I do have a whole host of other characters from BNHA to get through, but if you do have a particularly favourite character that you would love for me to do a one shot on, just drop the name in the comments section and I'll see if I can do something up for you. Until then, I'll see you next time.